Hi, art friends. Greetings, art friendos. We're making a video today. It oh, might be... thank God. <laughs> It might be a bit different to how we normally film. Yes. Everything is new and very scary. <laughs> oh god. And we're even using black paper, which I'm terrible which I'm terrible at, so. The anxiety is running high, but with my breathing exercises I can get through it. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> subscribe today, guys. If you're not subscribed, why? Do it now. Do it. Okay guys, so here's what I'm going to be using. The sketchbook, I forgot to tell you in the intro, the sketchbook is by Pink Pig. I'm using a Rotoring Mechanical Pencil, not 0.35 because it's super fine. A Mitsubishi Uniball White Gel Pen, and of course I... I expect to make a lot of mistakes, so I've got three You've erasers. Got three erasers? But they're all good for different reasons. Like, that's for details, that's for erasing like heavier lines, and that's for erasing normal ones. I shall now part the art supplies like Moses and create something biblical. What's the inspo? Well, the inspo is <clears throat> it's going to be a character. Now, I haven't been entirely honest with you. I actually have a mystery uh, art supply that I'm going to use. What's a mystery art supply? Well, it's not going to be a mystery if I tell you. No, it's a mystery art supply of all of my own that I'm going to surprise you with. It's perfect for this medium that we're going to get away from me. I, I don't know whether your head's in shot or not. Oh, it's fine. We all know that I never get my head <laughs> in videos ever. Oh God, you're making me paranoid now. <laughs> okay, I wish I could show you the mystery art supply now, but I can't because it has to be Suspenseful. Well, I was, I was gonna say finished, but, but yeah, okay. I was like suspenseful. Do you have any idea what the uh, what the art supply could be? I'll take it. I'll take some guesses if you have any. Chalk. No. When have I used chalk before? I was just trying to think what could show up on black paper. You got to think outside the box a little bit, hun. I did. Chalk. Guys, can you comment <laughs> if you think that chalk is an out of the box? <laughs> And outside the box, out of the box, outside the box art supply, I'd really appreciate like your input on that. Okay, I'm gonna try. Is this the mystery art supply? No, I, I announced this at the start! <laughs> I was gonna say it was sat right in front of me! <laughs> Surprise! Oh god, this is thicker than what I expected. <laughs> Note to self, buy a fine liner that comes in white. Are there any? Guys, I, this a call to action, guys! Do you have any idea where I could get a white fine liner? If you have any brand names, do let me know. Because this is ruining my entire existence right now. <laughs> okay, that's a little dramatic, but... I wonder if I can, yeah, if I can be brave and go a little bit faster. Do you have any idea? Um, Steph said, like, guys, before we even started recording this video, that she was like, oh, I've got an idea. But she won't share with me what it is or anything. Can you give me any idea as to what your, what your idea is? I'm feeling hashtag inspired. Oh, Lord. We have to wait for the Steph segment to find out what I'm going to draw. This, uh, don't, uh, oh, don't fast forward, guys. <laughs> I'll be ever so I can check when you do, don't you dare. Is she gonna be holding something? Um or are you just putting off drawing hands? Just putting off drawing hands. <laughs> I was waiting for like some mystery glove she was gonna be wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Behold the glove! It's it's hard to train my brain to shade in reverse. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Because I'm like shading where with white and I'm like, no, my brain's like, this is wrong, stop! <laughs> Because you're used to using white as the highlight colour. Exactly, yeah. So I'm like... <laughs> oh, I wonder if afterwards, if you like invert the picture in Photoshop. I won't put it. If it's bad, I won't put it <laughs> So if you don't see it at the end of the video, it just turned out bad. Actually, I might make a whole... Oh, yes. Can I just colour the whole page in white and then just <laughs> line it as normal? Okay, it's time for the big reveal, right? <laughs> it is... <laughs> Screen tone that's specifically for black paper. I was about to call you out there, but okay. So it's actually like white. Yeah, it's re it's like regular screen tone, but the dots, instead of the dots being black, they're white. So Yay. it should show up perfectly on this. Now, what could I do? I could do some of the clothes. Maybe the shirt and the hair. So, let's see if we can stick this on and try and make some kind of nice 
screen tone effect, huh? Easy, boy. Easy. It's very fine dots. I don't know if you can see. If I zoom in just like that, you can just about see. It's very, very fine, but it's definitely there. Can we doing all these zoom things? I'm such a professional. <clears throat> the step segment is going to be very primal. Let's <laughs> make sure it's nice and flat. And then we just get to cutting the bad boy out. So let's see what we can do. I'll just try and pull these bits off. There we go. Oh, are you really good at using screen tone? I'm not, that bit came off. I take back all my compliments. <laughs> <I> You're <laughs> a fraud. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you're ready for the <laughs> for the invert. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Oh, have you ever Yeah, yeah, it? I've seen it, so it doesn't look as bad as I thought it did, but you guys be the judge. Oh, I really like that. <laughs> it worked out a lot better than what I thought it did. It looks like it's actually from like a manga. Oh, that's really it's sweet. Like the line you. work and stuff. I love it. Maybe you should do this for like all your artwork in future. <laughs> it's just so much more work. <laughs> Okay guys, I got this sketchbook around Christmas and I still haven't used it, so this seems like a good excuse. Ooh, corrugated card. Nice. <laughs> Free card! <laughs> I'll be keeping that for later. That's not a black one. No, this is just so that I can just sort of scribble down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I've been working from the back a lot in this one because there's like no pressure to draw in it or whatever. So... You're gonna idea first, right? Yeah, as okay. like a rough thumbnail, just to sort of show people what I'm thinking of doing. So granted, it's gonna be in like a black sketchbook. <laughs> and I'm thinking of working in white ink. I've never really Ooh. tried, I don't think, to work with this before. Oh, what if I'd used that in a dip pen? I could have got such a thin <laughs> line. Why didn't you tell me? Oh I my what, god! No stealing my creativity. <laughs> and I was thinking I might do something along the lines of like a bunch of like little mushrooms and maybe like little fairies and. Oh, that that would be cute. Maybe I like, like little buds and stuff. Obviously this is a very rough thumbnail of the idea and I want to try and come up with something a bit cuter than this. But but you and mushrooms and fairies, it's always cute. I'm really excited to see it. Just before getting started, I want to have a quick practice of like the techniques that I'm going to be using. Has this stuff solidified? I think so, look at that. Oh, no. You're holding it upside down. Oh no! That's nuts, no way. No! Let's just have a... <laughs> Let's just stab it. Let's see if that fixes anything. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> ha! Ha! Yeah! Let's try... With a bit of like a watery paintbrush. Oh! Kind of a, a green hue to it, apparently. We must have been using some green paint. Unless it started to go mouldy or something. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My idea for this, if you can't tell from the sketch, does it show up on camera? Very, very slightly, okay. It's meant to be like a mushroom garden at night and I want to have like some little glowy fairies around. Oh, that's really cute, yeah. Oh, that's such a cool idea. Well, I thought since I'm doing it on black, I want to do something inspired by the night. I think I was too married to the idea of like white screen tone. I was like, I'm going to bedazzle her with that screen tone. Well, it did shock me. I didn't realize that you had. <gasps> that's the title for the video, using screen tone that might shock you. <laughs> Your style's so perfectly suited to... Uh, oh no, it's much this cute little bait. <laughs> <laughs> we can say he's eating a worm. Oh god! <laughs> Nightworms. You complimented me way too soon there. Oh, it is cute though. Look at... Oh my... Guys, you can't see her body position, <laughs> but she's in like a really awkward C shape. <laughs> it would be great for life drawing right now. Why don't you just turn it upside down temporarily? Because that's Failure in the eyes of YouTube, you must keep <laughs> that's, the sketchbook stable. That's failure. <laughs> and keep checking that I'm not screwing up just it yet. Looks fine. Oh, you're more nervous about this than I was. I like how you've drawn like four things in literally every corner of the picture, so you can't really go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I've left like the middle to last.
Maybe some sporadic lumpy bits. Mushrooms are good at those. That always makes things more interesting <laughs> if you have sporadic lumpy bits. See, you were so nervous. So guys, it's, at some points of this, she was actually shaking. <laughs> I think that's just my trauma, don't worry. Aww. But it's been really sweet to see that uh, since Steph was opening up about her trauma, a few of you guys as well have said that you do art and you have one too. And you're like grateful for Steph being honest about it. And that, that's really nice. Not that you have a tremor, that, <laughs> you know, that you're able to that talk about it. That we're not alone. It. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that is the sketch. I guess I'll let that dry for a few moments before I start risking doing this stuff to it. Hello, art friends. Let's do the hand test to see if this is dry. Looks good. Well, so far that looks like the pen to me. I want this to be thick oh. on top, yeah. I could have it like contrast with some like lighter areas like this and then also contrast it with like the black of the purple sometimes. No, it looks good. And would you like to see this like inverted as well? <laughs> well, it seems fair that I should do it because I made you do it, but <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean I'd like to see it. Well, that means yes, I am going to invert it. <laughs> this white ink smells funny. I don't know whether it's because like it's dried and gone kind of old or if white ink just smells funny. Are you sure it's white ink? <laughs> you haven't been putting anything else in it, have you? I don't know, I mean it could be mayonnaise or something, mm. but who'd put that in an ink That's pot? where I've been storing my mayonnaise. <laughs> I reckon it's it's almost. <gasps> oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> I want to say. Am I procrastinating? Yes. Maybe. You're scared of what it's gonna look like. Yeah, scared. <laughs> what if it looks wrong? How will I live with myself? It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. See, to me that looks great. Can you see that? I think yours worked better than mine. No, no, I like that. I think yours is cute. We'll put like proper pictures up of them on screen. Yeah, yeah, we'll, put, we'll do a side by side now, guys. Do let us know how we got on, because I never use black paper and I need reassurance. <laughs> <laughs> Please reassure us. Also, oh. what do you think of our ink? Score it on one out of ten. Ten being eh, <laughs> one being eh. <laughs> Oh, it's feature artist time. Whatever's on screen right now is a featured artist that has tagged us on Instagram recently. If you want to be in a chance with that, make sure to follow us on Instagram and tag us in your doodle. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another doodle date. Do it! Bye guys! Bye! Bye bye!